I greet you in the name of the triune God. I hope and pray that all is well with you. I am Reverend Odd Samuel Kurbagaran, pastor of Indian Church, Richmond, Virginia. I take pleasure to welcome you to the Blazing Bush Devotion or bi-monthly devotionals for your holistic healing. For today's meditation, I am reading from Psalm 143, verse 10. Psalm 143, verse 10. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. May your gracious spirit lead me forward on your firm footing. This is the word of the Lord. Praise be to God. David wrote this psalm. David is one of those people in the Old Testament who went through many difficult times as a young child, as a brother, a father, a warrior, a shepherd boy, a friend. Not only that, a man hunted by the king. Then as a king himself, as a husband, as a father and as a ruler. Those challenging experiences throughout his life led him to make a personal commitment to God and to ask God to teach him to do his will. Not only that, David made a personal confession that God is his Lord and that he will seek the personal guidance of God's gracious spirit to lead him, to lead him forward to a firm footing. Through these words, we know that psalmist fully shifts his whole being to God's will and his spirit. Moreover, David relocates, David reloc relocates his full being and hope to God's location. The whole world has been relocated to a new norm. This location has happened physically, mentally, emotionally, psychologically, and even in the way we worship. We are not dislocated completely, but only relocated temporarily. While all those relocations are taking place, there is one thing in particular that cannot be relocated. That is, your spirituality and your full being that has been restored by God through Christ Jesus. Hallelujah and Amen. David seeks the firm footing of God and confesses, for you are my God. The man who swiftly relocated himself was saved from all the dangerous situations in his life and he found the one true place where there was hope and safety for his full being. I know we all need a place where we can find hope and safety. God, through his son Jesus Christ, gives us his gracious spirit to lead us forward to a firm footing. Christ is at work in each moment that is happening. All these relocations have taught us that we should or we must trust God to lead us in the right direction and to the right place in and through Christ Jesus. God loved us and gave his only son Jesus. And the good news is so important that the person of Jesus becomes the place of hope and safety. Your location in Christ Jesus is your right destination. Your place in God through his son will never be occupied by anyone else or by any perishable things. It can only be occupied by presenting all that you are to the eternal one. David's prayer was taught to be to do God's will, not his own. Your prayer for guidance is self-centered 
if it doesn't recognize God's power to redirect our lives. Asking God to restructure our priorities awakens our minds and stirs our willingness to do and listen to do God's will and to listen to God's whisper. Let us pray. Gracious God, we thank you for bringing us closer to you. Help us always to seek you and find our hope in you. Dear God, remind us that it is never too late to return to you. Help us to be open to receive your love and forgiveness. Thank you, Lord, for meeting us in solitude and giving us strength when we turn to you. In Christ's name I pray. Amen. Dear friends, be happy and rejoice that the person of Jesus becomes the place of hope and safety for you. Amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.